Hey friends, welcome back to my channel that is Learn Computer Science with Manik Sharma. In this video, I am going to share very interesting and emerging topic related to Oracle database that is Oracle Apex, also known as Oracle Application Express. The main objective of this video is to provide a practical demonstration regarding the creation of free web space count in Oracle Apex. Before starting the practical session, let us first briefly understand what is Oracle Apex. Oracle Apex is fully supported through and available for Oracle database. Technically, Oracle Application Express is a low-code development platform that enables you to build scalable, secure enterprise apps with world-class features that can be deployed anywhere. You may use it online or can also install on your machine. Oracle FX provides a powerful development environment which is accessible online via web browser. Oracle FX is independent of the operating system underneath. You will be surprised to know that to work with Oracle Apex, you merely need a web browser. Yes, just a web browser. Due to the fact that Oracle Apex is installed on Oracle database, the corresponding database can be accessed directly through the online development environment. The free Oracle Apex web space provides four major areas to work, that is application builder, SQL workshop, team development, and gallery. Every part of an Oracle database, for example, tables, views, triggers, etc., can be accessed in this way by using the SQL workshop. Thus, no persistence layer is needed to exchange data between the developed application and the database. Let us see how to create an Oracle Apex workspace. So, for this, we need to go to Google. And then we need to search Oracle Apex free workspace. So then a link will appear getting started Oracle Apex. So you need to click on this link. A web page will appear. We need to select request a free workspace. So I'm going to click on this. So you can observe that there are different options. Get an always free Apex service or request a free Apex workspace here. I have selected this option request a free workspace. So when you click on this, you will get a web page in which you need to fill some basic information you need to first write your name let us write name say Marek name last name Sharma it will ask you the email I am going to fill Manik Sharma 979 at I am going to fill my email ID you may fill your email ID workspace I'm writing Dr. Manik Sharma. So you need to write a unique name for your workspace country. So you need to select country based upon your requirement. So then uses personal or organization. I'm going to select personal and then we need to click on the next button. So again, it will ask something, some information. Are you new to Oracle Application Express? Yes, I'm new to Oracle Application Express. Do you plan to use this workspace for a university class or training? Yes, I'm going to use this workspace for training purpose. Yes, then again, next. Why are you requesting this service? I'm you need to write the reason I'm going to learn and to train this service. Then you need to again click on the next button. Now Oracle Application Express Service Agreement. So number of terms and condition has been mentioned. So you need to click I accept the terms and then again next button now 
it is showing that first name is this last name email workspace name and then finally we need to submit a request so when you click on this submit a request so you are you will get a message workspace requested you will receive an email to activate your workspace once this request has been approved now what do you need to do now you have to go to your email a link will appear and then you need to click on that link to activate your workspace so let us do the same now when you activate your workspace you will get a screen so for the first time you will get the email that you have registered and a new password it will ask you to change your password i am going to change my password you may change your password as per your need so all done so we have successfully created a workspace in oracle apex so there are different options that are available to us application builder sql workshop team development gallery and this is the name that you registered summary so till now we have zero application zero tables and one developer you may also download application express if you want so let us check how to create a table in sql workshop so we need to click on sql workshop then we need there are different options object browser sql command sql script utilities restful services so we need to select sql command now you will get a window in which you are able to write your command so now we know how to create a table so the same sql syntax create table say uh, student roll number number say 4 then name varchar 20 now we need to select this and run the query if there is no error so then your query will be successfully executed now this window is showing that table has been successfully created now we can check by writing select star from student so this will show that no data found the table has been created but no data found so you may you know write a query insert into student then values for roll number i am giving 12 for name i am going to give morek and then you need to run the query now one row inserted so now you you may select select star from student so run so now we are getting the output roll number name roll number is 12 and name is molek so in this way we are able to create a workspace in oracle apex and we can use the sql workshop to write and execute all the sql statement i hope that each and every aspect of this session will be clear to all of you please do like and share this video for more update and technical insight of computer science please subscribe this channel thank you